Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Philanthropone, and I'm back with another brand new VR news video here. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the new Vive Facial Tracker by HTC, as well as Facebook pretty much announcing the Quest 3 and 4. But first, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Okay, so after some fairly accurate guessing by people on Twitter based on a couple of cryptic tweets by HTC, they have now officially announced a new facial tracker that will allow people to see lip and mouth movement on an avatar of yourself, uh, which is supposed to enhance immersion in new ways. HTC writes this, Capture true-to-life facial expressions and mouth movement with precision. Read intentions and emotions in real time. So in addition to the new facial tracker, HTC also unveiled a new version of their Vive Tracker, which they simply call the Vive Tracker 3.0, which allows for full body tracking and are smaller, lighter, and longer lasting than ever before. So I've always really liked the Vive Trackers because they allow developers to come up with some really cool ideas of how to play a game in a different way, like a soccer game, for example, by having a tracker attached to your leg. That's awesome. But regarding this new facial lip tracker, myself and many others included on social media were not really thrilled about it because don't get me wrong, you know, if developers or businesses want to integrate this thing into their projects in really cool, awesome ways, that's fine, but I honestly just don't really understand who HTC is targeting regarding a demographic with this thing, because you're telling me as a consumer who just wants to, you know, play awesome VR games or have awesome experiences, uh, I'm supposed to pay $130 just so you can see me talk? You get the benefit, but I get absolutely nothing except for a bulky device in front of my face. Uh, that makes it that much harder to get around and itch my nose if I have an itch. Uh, that's going to suck. And it's almost like you're paying $130 for a privacy invasion tool in a way. I don't want to sound too harsh, but like what happens if I mute my mic? Like, will you still be able to lip read me and see my lips move if I'm having a private conversation with someone in the room that I'm playing in? I don't know. And will developers like implementing this technology into their projects. Now don't get me wrong, uh, I would be much more on board with something like this if it was already integrated or built in to a new headset altogether in a much smaller form factor I would hope, uh, because that would actually be a new thing for consumer level HMDs. And, uh, but to expect regular VR Joes uh, to pay $130 to obstruct access to my itchy nose to buy something that adds another layer of setup and potential troubleshooting issues that really only benefits other VR participants. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's a tough sell, in my opinion. And in our second bit of news, we have Mr. Zuckerberg of Facebook flat out telling us that the Quest 3 and 4 are in the works. Zuckerberg tells us this. So we have product teams spun up now working on the next few generations of virtual reality and what Quest 3 and 4 are going to look like. So obviously we don't know anything regarding specs of these future devices, but there's one thing we all can absolutely guarantee they will have, or you will need actually, is a Facebook account to use them. And it leaves people wondering, like, how much of a focus will gaming be anymore on these, on, you know, Facebook's priorities with these new headsets? Because there have been some very obvious signs that Mr. Zuckerberg basically wants this to be a social media extension device and nothing to do with gaming. And, you know, one has to wonder if even Oculus is going to be in the title of this thing in the future, if it's going to be the Facebook Quest 3 or the Facebook Quest 4. But, you know, in the end, though... <laughs> The Quest 2 has pretty much solidified a successful future for the Quest line, so we'll just have to see how things go. So that's pretty much all for this one. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel and are interested in VR or gaming in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel for all of my latest updates in the future. Thank you once again. Till next time. Peace.